case of the week time. I have a 65 year old patient who presented to the office with a swollen knee in the front portion of the knee, painless, denied any trauma, denied any change in activity. The knee exam showed no warmth, no erythema, but the front of the knee was very swollen. What is his diagnosis? The next video I'm gonna show you is me actually taking some of that fluid off of the knee joint. Prepatellar bursitis. This is not infected. This is a collection of fluid in the prepatellar bursa. So you can see on this knee, he has no fluid in this area, but on this knee, he's got this large collection of fluid, which you can see even better when I go to bend his knee. So we're going to treat this by draining the fluid, injecting a little cortisone, and then applying a compression sleeve for two weeks, 24 seven, except for personal care. We're gonna feel a little pinch and burn. One, two, three, poke. You doing okay? And now you're gonna, this fluid is coming out. Okay, sorry. That's good. I right, take this. And then we're good tissue we can. Answer to case of the week. This patient has a aseptic, meaning non-infected prepatellar bursitis. And the fluid I drew off was actually a traumatic effusion within the prepatellar bursa. Even though he doesn't remember hitting his knee on anything, um, there was blood in that prepatella bursa in addition to uh, fluid. So I drew off the fluid. I actually injected a little bit of cortisone into the bursal area, which will help kind of scar down that bursa. Then he'll be placed into a compression sleeve for two weeks. He needs to wear it 24 seven except for personal care. And that usually takes care of it. But the important thing to remember is whenever you aspirate a prepatella bursa, you must put a compression sleeve or a compression brace on it for at least two weeks because if you just pull off the fluid, the fluid will come right back unless you do this compression, compression type dressing for two weeks.